Hi and welcome. Today I wanted to do a flip through of my nature journal project that I've finally finished. This has been an ongoing project for nearly two years and it's undergone some changes and you may have seen previously on my channel a flip through of this journal in its first carnation which was keeping the whole original book. But as I started to work in, in it, it and it got fatter and fatter, the spine wasn't going to last. So I've given it a new spine. I've also tried out a new binding technique by Nick the Booksmith that I did a class with. This concealed binding and I love it. It's very strong and it was just the thing for this um, very old cover so I've added these tags I've added a little bit of collage inside I've also added a lot I've I rebound the pages I took out some of the some of the um, the folios that were were in it previously to make way for room to add lots and lots of collage and pieces, pockets, lots of things. So let's have a look. So in it, I've kept the pockets, the envelope pockets, and these pretty much showcase little pieces of scrapbooking paper that I've had for a long time. I've also um, added some William Morris and Art Nouveau collage throughout which I love and really fit this garden theme beautifully. These are pieces of scrapbooking paper that I've had for a long time but didn't have a project for. Some echo prints. This is a Stamperia paper. I think that's um, called, oh, they called, called the collection Spring Lizards, a lizard piece there. I love lizards. I love ferns. And I've just, these, these papers are so beautiful that it just added a little, little bit extra on each. And if you've seen the previous video, in the centre of each signature, I've um, made a collage painting painted collage with different birds beautiful hummingbirds some Art Nouveau there's also my jelly prints throughout these are these are um, jelly prints another one from the Stamperia collection I also have a lot of vintage lady clip art and I've added those, they fit beautifully. I just love how they just sit in these garden pages really nicely. Again, I've just just kept it really simple, just added pieces of pieces of um, paper. Few some flowers, some clip art flowers that I've cut out. Quotes. Another collage. These birds are some of my favourite in my Aussie garden. They're called wattle birds. Frogs, of course, in, in this book I had to have frogs. I love frogs in my garden. And this encyclopedia that I was really lucky to have come across had pieces of the pages with these line door, um, diagrams of plants and parts of plants, that, which again just fit this theme so beautifully and this is my first attempt 
at a raggedy, the term that um, Nick the Booksmith gives them. And I just love it how they just tuck in. They can be used as a bookmark. But they look like bits of pet paper shoved in the pages. On this one, I've also added an envelope and a little Stamperia postcard. Another collage, Kingfishers and Kookaburras, which I love listening to. They're just so beautiful. This, their laugh is just so beautiful. Another vintage lady. And some more of this paper from the encyclopedia. One of my photos, I take a lot of photos of trees. And these are little birds that I love to find in the garden, although they don't appear very often, is blue wrens. More of this beautiful paper, I love it. This has just been a labour of love whenever I had some spare time and mostly collage. I didn't want to be getting out the paints and spending a lot of time fiddling around with it. I just love how effective a little bit of collage can be without anything added. Crows and magpies. Again, some of my favourite birds. I love these. More frogs. You can never have enough frogs. I just added that um, crow. These beautiful little tags. from the Stamperia Spring Collection, as is that paper. More of my favorite birds, eagles. And I love this, I, I love um, the Lord of the Rings. And this was just the perfect quote to add with the eagles, I thought. More of my tree photos. It's a little pocket and tag. And these are my little bookmark paper clips that I make. This is one of my favourite pre raphaelite paintings. I love how she's stepping into the secret garden. This paper was really beautiful already and I've just added the quote 
and the Vintage Lady. Parrots, Cockatoos, more Australian favourites. And I made this little folder from some um, medieval mirage digital printouts and I'm going to write a bit of a story about the book the behind the book and keep that in the back so I hope you enjoyed that flip through I'm really really happy with how it turned out and that will have a pride of place on on the shelf and until next time thanks for watching bye for now